Hello there! Today we will talk about explaining relationships. We are going to look at three kinds of informational texts and how the ideas are related in them. So we're going to look at examples of historical texts. You know the text is about important historical events or people. Scientific texts, the texts that explain phenomena or why something happens that focus on science and technical texts like menus, recipes, or any kind of forms. We're going to talk about how individuals, events, ideas, and concepts are related. Concepts is a big word for an idea. Events are things that happen, and individuals are people, and you know what ideas are. So we are going to look at how in historical, scientific, and technical texts, these ideas are related. Oh, all jumbled up, we'll sort you out. And our first text, oh, kitty and children. Oh, the passage is about benefits of owning a pet. This is an example of a science-based text because it talks about studies that show how humans benefit from owning pets. It shows how humans have interacted with pets for many years and what the studies have shown, how it helps people socialize, how it teaches empathy and responsibility, and how it teaches you to be a good friend. So the ideas of how benefits of owning a pet are related are shown in these paragraphs of this scientific text. Hooray! Next up, we have an artist's dream. When you see dates, now 1901 is a long time ago, so you know it is talking about a historical figure. And a fun historical figure because it is Walt Disney. And you see, this is talking about Disney and Seven Dwarfs from his 1937 film Snow White. This was his first film that was hugely successful. How this event is related to the whole article you can find by reading the entire article. It is an artist's dream. Walt well, Disney's dream was to be successful while making art and this movie was his first big success. Now you see how the events and the people are related in this article. Last but not the least, we have a technical document. It is teaching you how to make sure your bike is ready to ride. You see you have titles in bold subheadings that has sections that explain how to do each step. This is a telltale sign of a technical document. Often technical documents also have a picture. Now you see a diagram of a bicycle that helps you identify all the different parts of a bicycle. So it lists these steps and it teaches you the goal, which is how to make sure your bike is ready to ride. In this technical document, the steps and the goal are related. Now you have seen how in three different kinds of texts, the ideas, concepts, individual, and events are related. Next time you read these documents and articles, make sure how the ideas refer to each other and how they are related, and you will understand bigger things better. More later. Bye-bye.